Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Nikita Gill and some of you know me and some of you don't so uh, that's why I'm giving my introduction again. So hi my name is Nikita Gill and I'm from Haryana and now I am a PhD student in Texas Tech University here in the US. So uh, I've got a lot of comments asking about my background what I did and uh, how I landed a PhD position in US. So in this video, I'll try to give you an idea about my background and what you can do uh, to get a PhD program and get a fully funded PhD admission or admit in the US. So I hope this video will help you guys. So keep watching and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, so please subscribe it. And also if you like this video, to like, share and comment. Let's get started. Okay, so talking about my background, I completed my 12th from non-medical stream in 2017 and I got around 92% in my 12th standard. And after that, I got admission in a government college, like uh, in a local university in Haryana. So uh, I did bachelor's uh, there I did my BSc in non-medical. I had physics, chemistry, mathematics, all these subjects combined like you can see general BSc. So I did that and also I'd like to mention that I did got backlogs in my first and second semester but I kind of cleared it before my third year so it didn't matter that much. But if you have any backlogs and things like that, so try to like clear them up uh, before completing your bachelor's. It will really help. So yeah, don't get demotivated. If you have some backlogs, that's fine. Like many students do get. I also got it and now I'm doing a PhD here. So you can take my example and get motivated from that. So that's a different thing. And yeah, then I got about 64% in my bachelor's. Uh, and... Um, then I started preparing for IIT JAM exam in my fifth semester itself and uh, I started preparing for it and I took the exam in February 2020. Yeah, in February 2020, I gave the exam and uh, in May 2020, I got the admission uh, acceptance from NIT Srinagar and I was very happy at that time. So uh, then I completed my master's in chemistry from NIT Srinagar and uh, I'd like to mention that I did not have any kind of specialization in my master's like in chemistry you do have kind of inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry or physical chemistry or analytical chemistry or biochemistry specializations but uh, mine was a general master's so I didn't had any specialization in my master's, but I did had a research uh, project in the last semester. So it also kind of helped me to get a PhD position here in US because uh, in the admission process, they do ask about the uh, research thesis or some research background that you did. So that kind of helped me a lot. And apart from that, I also did some internships so that internships was like I started my uh, internship in the third semester uh, when I was uh, doing my master's. I started doing an internship in the Jamia Media Islamia University in New Delhi. I did two months uh, of the internship and that was really, really helpful. I got a recommendation letter from my uh, internship professor as well and it kind of boosted my profile so it was a great thing and also during my masters uh, as it was a covid time so i couldn't like work on a research paper but i did work on a review article and it got published in rsc advances so it did kind of help me a lot and i'm sharing these details to you guys because you can get an idea when to start preparing and what to do while you are doing your bachelor's or while you are doing your master's so it will give you an idea about how to start uh, going to the uh, line of getting a PhD admit so 
if you have a dream to of doing any PhD program here in the US or in abroad so this video is going to help you because when I was preparing and I did not had any idea what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do so I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos on that I used to watch other people's experience and I used to get inspired from them and I used to get ideas okay I can do this thing also uh, I mean this will boost my profiles so that was very helpful for me and I want like my story can inspire you guys then I would be really really happy and I would really like to help you guys if you have any like questions or if you want to make um, want me to make a video on any particular topic like shortlisting the universities or how to write emails to the professors and what to do uh, after getting an admit and everything else you can just write it down in the comment section and I will try to make a video on that and yeah also, some of you guys commented on the video that uh, whether I did the IELTS exam or TOEFL exam or PTE. So, I would like to mention that I gave IELTS exam, IELTS exam, and I got about seven uh, bands uh, in it, overall seven bands. So, if you are coming to the US or going to any other countries, you particularly have to give a IELTS exam and if you're not giving an IELTS exam and still you're getting a PhD position it is possible in some uh, countries like Germany or in European countries but you then have to go there in the university and give some speak test to them so that is compulsory and also I did give a speak test here after coming to the PA uh, to, to the university so if you want to know more uh, like what happened to me and what was my experience after coming to the US of about past 10 days that I spent here. So I would really like to make a video on that as well. So just write it down in the comment section if you want to know. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.